Hey everyone, hey everyone and, and welcome, welcome to, to another episode of Art Contemporary Talk Show. Art Talk Show. Episode number episode two. Episode number two. Welcome. Welcome, and we're going to discuss a couple artists today. You, yep, you're noticing back here that we are going to talk about some art like we did on our first episode. But this time, instead of drinking beer, we're going to be classing it up a bit and drinking a little... Like if you were to go to any kind of art... Pino, gallery or Pino noir or art opening you would drink wine probably yeah it's a so little you sophisticated tilt the glass at an angle so you don't bruise the it's uh, sophisticated Pino. but we also want to kind of keep it light so it smells kind of yeasty kind of keep it fun you know definitely so i brought uh, a couple umbrellas kind of because sometimes, you know, a lot of artists are serious and stuff, but, you know, they like to have fun, too. So we're going to keep it kind of light. Yeah, I don't know if you can tell. We're going to talk about outsider art. Because we're outside. Because we're outside. And we don't want to get flies in our, you know. Mm. All right. Right. Good? Also, the umbrella acts as a cap for the cup. So fly, that's good. So flies can't get in. Mm. Like always, we're eating Pirate's Booty Pirate brand snacks. Um, but what is also, this you got going here? I also wanted to make it a little bit more kind of like an art um, gallery or an art talk show. I mean, an art uh, show. So I put toothpicks on the pirate's booty. I got the really big one that you were hoping to get. I, yeah, I did. Oh, no, no, no. It's like popcorn shrimp, but, but it's pirate's not. booty. Pirate's booty. So it's kind of a classy way to snack is on a toothpick. All right, let's get started. Okay. The first artist we're going to talk about today is... Uh, Mrs. Jo- Jokum O. Jane and... Oh, um, Janin, or is it Janin? Janin. Um, y- Joachim, Joachim is from Sweden, so I guess you could say that she is definitely an outsider artist because she's uh, outside the mm-hmm. United States, which right. is a qualification. What do you think of this painting? I like this. There's a lot going on. It's and oil, oil, on, oil on board, I think. I like it. There's a lot going on with it. There's a lot of colors, a lot what of texture. What specifically do you like? I really like... What well, I can't quite tell what it is I like the um, the faucet or the rainbow yeah but it looks like someone's putting a cigarette butt out on the rainbow oh wow it's pretty exciting um, I like what look like severed fingers okay or now that like, okay kind of like worms and they had the right like in this area Chris the fingernails have been painted white <laughs> did you do this on purpose I'm sorry just because I'm missing half a finger. I forgot you were an amputee. That was very insensitive. That was very insensitive. Well, actually, it was insensitive of Mrs. Ojanin. Right. So, so now I, I don't like it. I don't like this one. We have two women and two men. This is our first woman. I like the way that she put the our fern. Do you see the fern? Oh. The fern has been painted in. So I think um, Ojanin is giving a shout out to the show. Mm. I like that now. Okay, right. I do like this one. Okay, so... I didn't, but I do now. You like the dirty rainbow? I like the dirty rainbow. I don't like it. I don't like texture in my... As you know from the episode one, I don't like a lot of texture. I like people to be really straightforward and say what they mean and mean what they say. I can respect that, but I okay. disagree. Okay, moving right along. We have a paint. We have two paintings by George W. Bush. W uh, or, or George Bush Sr.? George W. Bush. Oh. George Bush Sr. is not in very good health these days. All right, George W. Bush. Um, I don't didn't like these. Spend a lot of time in the White House because he was painting, which I think is okay. I think, as we all know, painting is more important than politics. All right. Or so sometimes you can. What happened was um, a person by the name of Guccifer cracked into George Bush's account and stole these. So I don't know when they were painted, <laughs> or if they're actually by him. If or they... the title? No, they're definitely painted. He said later they were his. Okay. Um, I don't know if you notice here, the shoulder blades, I can't tell if that's shoulder blades or if that's pecs. It's an upside down bird, as we've um, learned on other, okay, take it easy there. So thirsty. Yeah, well, we want to get through the show. <laughs> it's very refreshing. Okay. All right, we're back. So, and also, the perspective's weird. The guy's looking in the mirror, or the mirror's looking at him, but he's not looking at the mirror. His back looks like he has breasts. I on say it, that he actually. that Mr. Bush should stick to his other career. What's his other career? Retired. Just He's stay like retired, play some golf. Dude on the ranch. Yeah. I, I actually know. really love these. I, I like think the they're back. amazing. I, I like think one they're of them. amazing. I don't. I didn't care as much for the Mrs. Joachim Ojanin, but I really. I like did the like George that one. Bush paintings. 
I'm they're simple. He says what impartial he means. to the other one. I don't really care. He he's a power figure and he paints like a power player. Wow. Well, the perspective might be a little off, but there's more things in life than perspective. I don't really have perspective. Okay. Also, just another tip when you're at the art talk shows or at the art gallery shows and you want to impress people, make sure to swirl the wine around in your mouth a little bit. Makes it look like you really know what you're doing. Let me tell you something. Yeah. You swirl it around the glass and then you can no, see bourbon. if there's legs. I think everything. You what? swirl it all. What do you mean legs? Like, there's no legs because this is obviously very cheap Pinot, but there would be legs dripping down. Like, what do you mean? Nice. The outside, if you get it swirled over? The run comes out. I don't mm-hmm. know. That's okay. And spider legs. That's okay. Okay, so the next one. On Go ahead. Next, take it. Take it from the, the top. The next one is Grandma Moses Waiting for Christmas, painted in 1960. This I like is, this uh, one because I think it's very forward thinking. I think that this is, you know, life on a farm if you were a swinger because there's multiple couples in this one bed. Okay. That's interesting. This, this, these are kids. This is not sexual. These are kids do not. No, no. If you'll notice waiting here for, is the cop wheel for or whatever that thing is. Kids don't use that. It's not called waiting for sex. Well, they're not That's waiting because they're already wheel. in bed. Actually, my grandpa made his own spinning wheel. Was he a kid or was he an adult? He was an adult. When exactly. Kids don't use spinning wheels, so Remember we know that those aren't kids. I like this one because it has what we, a little trick we call painting within a painting. So mm. you see the painting mm-hmm. hanging on the wall um, okay. over here? Yeah, I see that. That's pretty cool. Um, no, it's over here, actually. Over here, and that right shows room, that right, yeah. they could either be outside, it might be a window or a painting on the wall. I really like the way oh. she's able to make that rug lay down. Whenever she paints up. perspective, unlike George W. Bush, everything is perfect, the perspective. The rug looks like it's laying down. Except the chair doesn't. No, and the chair is the larger than the rug because it's um, bigger. It's in the foreground. It's called atmospheric perspective. I like this one, actually. It's nice. I think the faces are really creepy, but that that doesn't bug me too much. Well, I'm okay with the creep. <laughs> that's because I have a creepy face. Yeah, God granted you. Um, I like well, this evolution one. granted me. Right, that's what I would say. Right. All right. So I don't think Grandma Moses would say that. I really like this one. How do you like? Do you like it? I am gonna say yeah. Oh wow! So first one to recap. I did Except not I don't like. know why is that a mattress underneath the wood? Why is there white underneath the wood? You know That's what? I think there's too south, many things wrong with this. In the south, I'm from Kentucky. We call it a trestle bed. So a trestle bed is something you can roll out when you have guests come over. So that I don't really know why exists. they have 16 kids in the bed because they have two beds. They have a trestle bed. Probably made know. by the Shakers. I'm conflicted because I think that she really did think this one through. She had the paintings on the wall. Okay, 1960. She was using drugs. That's more like it. From Appalachian Mountains. She was moonshine, probably those moonshine. Kentuckian people. Is she from Kentucky? I don't know. That's a good question. You, if anybody should know, you should know. I'm going to guess South Carolina. I'm going to guess. She didn't start painting until she was 8. I'm going to guess Arkansas. 8-0, eight, eight not 18. All right, and last, lastly. But not least. I wasn't going to say this because it's kind of cheesy. Okay, all right. But you did. We can cut it out. We had James Franco from Your Highness. Also from um, that Your movie. Highness. Oh, the movie. The movie. Yeah, you're high. In, I thought you meant that's the town. Also, he just played Riff Raff in a movie. Mm. What was that called? I don't know. The Adventures of Riff Raff, I think. And he's been in, um, he hosted the didn't he Emmys. Do... He hosted the Emmys one year. Yeah, didn't he also make that movie about. He's been in a lot. About I think the poet, the beatnik. What's that movie? What's that? Allen Ginsberg or something? Wasn't he part of that? Or... I don't know. I don't know. He was. Uh... Okay. So this painting is from a series he did in Berlin. I don't think that guy's name. Charles Bukowski. About gay nightclubs or something. Charles Bukowski. What, the, this painting is? Yeah, you can't tell from this painting. But it was included in I don't think there's any kind of... Called Gay World in Berlin. That's interesting. I don't know. This one doesn't really... It doesn't. It doesn't say anything. Like, that could... Doesn't... No, this is just like... Uh, Pretty neutral. Nice ass cheeks and uh Okay, Gucci. you can just say, just say bottom. The ass. backside... Rosy red ass cheek plus a pale ass cheek with the Gucci jacket. I think he advertises for Gucci. I actually think this one is incredible. Like when you're a kid and you're buying a box of cereal, you get the cereal, which is good, but you also get the prize. And with this one, you get the jacket. So you buy the painting, you get the jacket, and you get two things really for the price of one. really good. 
<laughs> I think James Franco would like this Pinot. Well, you shouldn't. Did you drink all that already? <laughs> I drank most of it. Chris. I'm all right. I'm not stuttering yet. So, I'm going to give it... Do you it, like this painting? I'm going to give it a thumbs up. You know what you forgot to mention about this painting is there's text. So this is actually a text painting because he wrote Gucci on the top. Behind the guy. And on top. Um, I like this painting. Is, is it a sculpture? Is it a painting? The jacket's mounted on the painting. So, you want to recap? I love the Grandma Moses painting, though. I, I do like That's it. That's the real winner I do like it. I actually like all of them. The Bush one... You know what the quilt looks I like? like is when I'm flying on an airplane. Um, on different parts of the United States, the ground will be different colors like that quilt. And you'll see different farmlands. It's interesting. I could go on and on. What's interesting is... You don't is, really need to, though. I think we got it. They're all oil paintings. All of them? Yep. I wouldn't have thought a Bush would have done acrylic. I thought, I mean, I thought he would have done acrylic. Something you can't change. You he's going to make work. something and he's not going to change his mind. He's just talking. Gonna... You can tell he wanted to work into those paintings every day because he probably didn't want to go to work because he wasn't well liked. So he kept the oil so he can redo it. Yeah. So he can scrape it. back into it. Mm-hmm. That's interesting. Okay. So a couple things that you learned today is... Is that a coffee cup in the first one? Oh. With the, jo- the Miss Joachim Ojanin? Yeah, okay, let's recap. That's a good idea. Miss Miss Joachim Ojanin from Sweden. Um, Sweden or Switzerland? Sweden. Hmm. Interesting you would say that. Uh, Stockholm, I believe. We should probably cut this above our waist. I should have worn pants. I thought you were going to do waist I know, up. I'm really distracted. Well, I thought you were going to do waist up. I think the cameras are going to see that. You won't see your um, legs. Legs. All right. Well, I think that's uh, I think it's our episode. Do you want to show them how to make one of these? Yeah, we'll do a little quick demo. You take a. Oh, well, I think they're. See, you've been drinking too much. You, take a... you said you weren't going to drink that much, anyways. What? I only drink a bottle of wine. I know. A I half a bunch. A, no, almost more than half a bottle, Chris. No, but moderation is two bottles a day. No, I don't think so. I don't know. Two bottles well, of beer. Two do, bottles we, of wine. I hope this works because we can't do another one. You're too drunk. That's why I told you not to drink so much. I said, we're going to have to do multiple takes, and you drink a half a bottle. We're only in take five. Hmm. Like popcorn what, do you, what do you expect now? Trim. What if we do one more? You're, gonna, you're not even going to know which one. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. Chris. Damn it. Wait. <laughs> we can shoot another one. What you did?